The heroic defense of Stalingrad. The Soviet army turning the Nazi six-month assault into the most ghastly military disaster in German history. Nazis pour from house after house in abject surrender. Hitler's generals give up too. 24, including a field marshal. Here is Lieutenant General von Daniel, commander of the veteran 376th Division. Lieutenant General San commanded Hitler's pride, the crack 100th division that smashed through Belgium and France. Berlin says that German generals never surrender. Germany's Romanian allies, Brigadier General Dimitriou, commander of the 20th Romanian Infantry, suffers the same fate as that of his German colleagues. Five more Axis generals who failed at the Stalingrad, Hitler vowed he'd take. <laughs> Lieutenant General Schlemmer, whose 14th Tank Corps helped conquer Holland. <laughs> Lieutenant General von Preber, whose 297th Infantry invaded Greece. <laughs> Lieutenant General Rinaldi, medical chief of the 6th German Army. <laughs> Biggest catch of all. Field Marshal Frederick von Paulus, Commander-in-Chief of all Axis armies at Stalingrad. Taken to headquarters of General Shumilov for questioning, von Paulus has much to answer for. He is the man who ordered the extermination of every civilian in Stalingrad. <laughs> Calmly, quietly, General Shumilov reviews von Paulus' record. This is the von Paulus who, two months before, threatened the families of his own soldiers with death if one man should surrender. Berlin claimed he was captured only because he was gravely wounded. Actually, a young Red Army lieutenant found him hiding in the basement of a department store and brought him in without a struggle. Emaciated, defeated. Remnants of 22 beaten Nazi divisions. Now, they plod toward a Russian prison. flag flies again over the heroic city of Stalin as endless lines of Nazi prisoners write the final chapter in the Battle of Stalingrad. Here the might of the German Sixth Army met the courage of a people fighting for life and liberty. Liberty.